Monday Night Nominations. Here's your host, Greta Colleen. Well, tonight is nomination night, number seven, and boy has Big Brother got a surprise for the housemates. I am not telling you now. You will have to wait till the end of the show when your socks will be blown off. Now, some of the housemates are still emotionally raw today. As last night, of course, the house lost Joe and some of the guys lost their mojo. Plus, <laughs> tonight we have two nomination virgins in Kim and Jamie. Ooh, so it's going to be a big night, not only because of that, but because nothing makes our housemates think more about the meaning of life, the universe and everything than being nominated. As we found out last Monday night, let's take a look. This is Big Brother. This week, there are three nominees for eviction. Daniel. I can't believe I've made it this many times. I was nominated and not going. I'm the champ at it. Regina. I feel like... Um, like they don't want me... in here anymore. And Joanne. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm gone this week. <laughs> I knew I was gonna go. Oh. Well, Joe's eviction last night also caused pain and even a hint, well, actually a hunt, by Vincent and Patrick. They went hunting for a hint of Joe, and what they found was a strand of her long blonde hair. Romantic, pathetic and tragic at the same time. <laughs> Joe will, of course, be joining me later to get nearly naked in the nomination spa, and I mean emotionally naked, sadly, for all the men across the nation. But first, let's cross live to the No Joe Zone to see how the housemates are coping. Oh, I meant Patrick. Hello, house. Oh, hello. Hey, Greta. Hello. hello. All right. Who's suffered terribly in the last 24 hours? Saxon, <laughs> you have. Yeah, um, but it's your fault for putting people as cool as Holly <laughs> in here anyway, so I don't know. Yeah, it was hard, but it was hard for everyone. I'm just a wuss who sort of cries a bit too much, I think. Yes. But, no, nah, things are going to get easier because there's still cool people in here, but... How did you feel after having such a big cry? Did you feel cleansed? Um, not really. I felt like I'm going to get bashed up by all my mates when I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it, it, I sort of felt like I was going to wake up and it, it was going to be the same. But, you know, I got up and got some pretty cool people like, as a support centre, so it's good to get up, have a coffee, have another little bit of a cry, and now I'm all good. I'm ready for a week. Good on you, because you guys are suffering anyway because you've hardly got any food left, have you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I've lost like 10 kilos. <laughs> what was that? I've lost about 10 kilos. <laughs> have you? you All know? this health... It's like I'm in, like, a health retreat. Is it? <laughs> no <laughs> fish and chips. <laughs> no cigarettes. <laughs> no beer. <laughs> Good heavens. This must be what heaven's like, do you think? I've been exercising and everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my skin's gone all funny. <laughs> Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see that you're all still happy. Patrick, you're OK. Vincent, you're all right. Chrissy, yeah. you lost a good mate. You're OK? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, and then I can see Dan and Reggie. Congratulations for making it through. Jamie, no, Kim, you. first night's nominating. We'll see how it all goes. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye, Joe. Oh, it's always very hard crossing to the house. But now it is time to see how our nomination virgins are going. Mm. Up tonight, nominating for the first time, and Jamie and Kim are chalk and cheese. And it seems that Jamie has gone out of his way to meet and greet his new friends. So will the other housemates think he's a real nice guy or a shrewd tactician? I thank God that you're in here as well because you remind me so much of every part of me in a way, like a little bit of every person that I know. I'm not just interested in knowing about you just because of your cooking and saying things that you do that make me laugh, but because of your different take on life and it keeps me interested and I'm really interested in knowing about you and where you come from. I'm going to make Patrice's bed and something to do for him on his bed. That's nice. 
without a patch of nice or anything, just let me know. Mm. My friends always tell me. Today, yeah. And have you heard today's joke though? Everything's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I'm trying to do the right thing by everybody. Yes! <laughs> Thanks, man. Got it on the plate. Now, if Kim is playing a tactical game, she is hiding it well. But you've got to love her. She says what she likes and she likes what she says. And if anyone's going to call a spade a bloody shovel, it's Kim. <laughs> I'm a bit rude and crude, aren't I, Chrissy? Um, I don't know about rude and crude. The mind boggles. Your stories are different. Yeah. Vincent doesn't talk to me. Vincent! Don't ignore me. Saxon annoys the shit out of me. Please tell me there's one more left. Listen, when I try and talk to him, he'll be smart ass. I'm not going to burst out. Because I'm staying here with a bunch of people that are, you know, don't really like. <laughs> and um, Reggie said, go and talk to someone in the room, and I did, and I just said everything that I felt at the time, which wasn't very nice, because I said I didn't like anyone in here. Well, at least you're up front and you're forward and you're honest. Okay, so it seems Kim might not be the flavour of the month with Saxon or Chrissy. Well, they're first up in the diary room tonight, so let's see if they nominate the new Kim in town or settle all the scores. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Chrissy to the diary room. Oh! Hello, Chrissy. <laughs> Think Mog. <laughs> Think Chrissy can't do it. Get happy. No one can. Is that how I'm sitting like that? No. Good luck, Chrissy. Chrissy, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, for for two points, I nominate uh, Vincent because he can go um, several days on end without um, speaking. To, um, to anybody and I find that hard to cope with because um, I use goofing off and um, talking and conversation as a way to relieve stress and um, re-energise myself um, so as a consequence of him being very quiet I find that um, I can't goof off as much around him or have to go into a different room or not do it at all Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, for one point, I nominate Patrick because he's um, really controlling and a bit too bossy about um, what we order on the f on the food list and what we can eat and can't eat and all rationing and stuff. And um, that I I feel like I have um, relevant input to put in there, and I'm not really allowed to say anything. So when I cook. Um, I have to make the best of basically what I'm given and I use cooking to relieve stress. Thank you. Beside you, you'll see a, teach, a small chest. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to take it out, put it on the coffee table, don't attempt to open it until you get further instructions from me. I take Thank this you. out Take that, that with you. Saxon to the diary room. Where was that? Looks like it's from the three wise men. Do we have the key? Saxon. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? This week I uh, choose to nominate Jamie for two points. The reason being with respect to the group, I think that um, he treats the matters that I um, see as being very close to me and, and make me angry and upset. He t treats them with a little bit less uh, sensitivity that the others do. And um, that sort of forces or makes me not enjoy 
the time just spending time with him as, a, as bloke just mucking around not as much because I tend to be thinking too much about it and it just sort of makes my time in here um, stretch out and be not as enjoyable Who do you nominate for one point for Victor um, and why? I nominate uh, Kim for one point and the reason being I think she's um, got one of the most vibrant personalities I've ever met. She's one of the most enthusiastic people and I think she sort of sometimes because she's so energetic like that her stories sometimes go a little bit too far and she takes a little bit a joke a little bit too far sometimes because she's so excited and, and that sort of a lot of the time some of the stories like strike a chord with me and that makes it hard because um, it, it cancels out a lot of time where I could be spending time getting to know her better. I'm, I'm th- a lot of the time I'm spending it thinking I wish you didn't say that. Thank you. Wow, a couple of surprises there. And we have the big question to ponder. What is in Big Brother's beautiful box with a lovely lock? Join me after the break when the Big Brother dreamboat Joe drops anchor in the port of denomination. nomination night where Big Brother's beautiful box sits in the house ready to spill its splendid secrets but it is time now for me to welcome someone who has already spilled many splendid secrets well actually only once when she was climbing out of the pool that was an accident would you please welcome our latest evictee Joanne I'm, I'm really excited. Are you yeah, I've had, a, I've had a great day. Yeah, Did lots you really busy. Not really. My mind was racing last night after I went to tried to go to sleep, and no, it didn't work. Were you happy racing or sad racing? Happy. Yeah. Were it was you? Good. Yeah. Did you I have a, a lot day. of confronting questions today? Um, lots about lots. flirting and boys. Yes, and... lots of um, lots of interviews asking me the exact same questions over and over again. So I sounded like a broken down record, but oh well. Well, can I ask you, how's Tim? He's really well. He's here tonight. Hello, Tim. Hey, Tim. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. <laughs> well, isn't this an interesting journey that you have been on? My goodness. Yeah. So, are you ready to help with the nominations tonight? <sighs> ready. I must say, I do want to ask you more and more about this charisma factor. I'm calling it the J spot. <laughs> Just so that. <laughs> well, I have access to this phenomenon. I may as well learn whatever I can. Maybe on uncut. We'll see. All right. <laughs> We have to get straight into nominations, so we'll have a chat later. Next to nominate tonight is Daniel. He has had what can either be described as a meandering technique or no technique at all. So let's just take a look. If I've got to come up with better reasons, I'd be a bit more alert to to stuff that... Well, why don't you today just observe... Yeah, but just doing that puts me on my back foot, you know. It means I'm, like, sitting there looking at the people going, like, oh, oh I don't want to be doing that. I just want to be having fun and, and you know, talking to people and enjoying them, not not looking for the, the worst part of them that like, I can find or something. It's part of being here. I'm going to send two points Joanna's way um, for leaving her pink boots all over the place every time she kicks them off when she goes to bed. They're a tripping hazard. I'm going to send one point to Pat for... Hitting the wrong notes when he's playing guitar and assisting with as if they're not the wrong notes and it just irks me, it annoys me. <laughs> OK, I know Joe's in shock. There's no real pattern there, obviously, Joe. Last week he nominated others, others for hazards to bedroom safety and affronts to his musical ears. Let's cross to the diary room to see if Dan comes in as a man with a plan or a no-plan man. <laughs> Daniel. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I'm going to nominate Vincent for two points. Um, the reason why is I followed him into what I thought was the... Oh, I, with his invitation, I went into what I thought was the um, square storeroom and it would have been nice to know that it wasn't before I went in there. And the reason that it affects my time in the house is that I, I like to trust people and I really want to trust Vincent and I don't want that to get in the way of it. 
Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? I'm going to no nominate Saxon for one point because when we tried to get out of that storeroom, he was holding the door closed and that turned a confusing moment into a, a scary moment. And the reason why that affects my time in the house is that if we're having a few drinks, it's nice to be able to let down your guard and you can't do that if you think people are going to go take things too far. Thank you. Thanks. Right, Joe. Any answers there? <laughs> it's so funny. Does it? Because you never understood Daniel, did you? No, no. Do you understand no. him better yeah, after that? Yeah, I think I'm, I'll, I'll get a better idea from watching him from the public's yeah, perspective. Yeah, he just sees the world a different way. He but does. I, I can't believe he actually got through nominating. Well done. Well done. I know he's learning. He's having a good time. <laughs> now I want to just show some footage of you having a good time in the house because Joe. No, it's innocent. Open your eyes. <laughs> it's making the most of the good time in the house. So now let's have a look at the twists and turns of Joe's happy times. Hello, Joe. How are you feeling? Good, thanks, girl. <laughs> That's why. Hey! Hello. Make me laugh. <laughs> I love it. I'm happy. It's good. You look like a dickhead. Three of our final eight housemates have already taken a swing at the nomination pinata, so let's see how the votes have fallen. Ooh. Vincent is in the lead with four. Jamie is next on two, and Saxon, Patrick, and Kim are all on one. But there are five more housemates to go. All right. Now I'll just tell you who's nominated. Oh no, I'm not. We're not talking nominations. We have to talk Big Brother questions. Oh. I promised everybody last night, of course, that we would do the ten Big Brother questions. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. No, they seem out of context. Oh. What say really exciting answers. What was the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Uh, during nominations. Oh, that's a good answer. <laughs> what did you miss the most in the Big Brother house? Um, boyfriend, family, friends, best friends. Good girl. That was the correct answer, wasn't it, Tim? Who was your favourite person in the house? Um, Chrissy. <laughs> Why? Um, because she's hilarious and I love her to pieces. Bit of a mum? No, no, a bit of a, like an older sister. Good. Type of role. Who was your least favourite person and you have to answer? <laughs> and you have to do Still quickly. haven't, I haven't determined that yet. Um, ben, Between yeah. who? Well, 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 Ben was up there because he did upset me a bit in the house. Oh. Yeah. Um, even though I, you know, formed a really good relationship with him initially, it just, I felt like I was betrayed at, at times. Right. So. so we'll give half a point to Ben. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who had the most annoying habit? Oh. Um, no, I Joe didn't, never I didn't met Carlo. Carlo. I didn't know Carlo. Um, Do you want to say Carlo anyway? Okay, Carlo. All right. <laughs> well, for the sake of brevity, who was the funniest person in the house? Um, Chrissy again. Who yes. was the laziest? Um, Dan. Dan's lazy. Oh. He doesn't doesn't yeah. do that much. What was your greatest recycling? He doesn't, but doesn't do much cleaning. Oh, he recycles. Yeah. Well, that's saving the planet. I'm yeah. sorry. That's rather a big thing. <laughs> All right. What was your greatest regret in the house? Um. Out of the swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trivialise her entire life. What was your greatest regret? And you have to be honest. Um, I'm just... I'm, I don't... Was it a flirting thing? Yeah, I just handled a few situations. That's probably. what you mentioned last night. Yeah. You, I remember you said to me, oh, I could have handled that better. And that's my regret. Yes, it's very hard when boys adore you and worship you. I find it impossible <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> Who is, uh, oh, I've asked you that. Who will be out next week? This week? Yes. Yeah, uh, OK. Um, I thought it was Kim. Rightio. Mm. And in present tense, you think it's Kim? I think it's Kim. Right. <laughs> and who do you think will win? Um, either Reg or Chrissy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> OK. Maybe a girl this time. I know. A girl will be good. Yeah. All right. Now we've got a rattle on. 
Okay, we're going straight to the diary room, is that correct, big brother? We've got Vincent and Regina going into vote. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is Big Brother, Vincent to the diary. Okay, Brian. Ooh, the tins are risky. Forgot to give me out. Pay no attention to the television. Courage. Oh, yeah. Courage. And I love you, too. Vincent. Big Brother. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Okay, for two points, I'll uh, nominate Patrick. Um, he uh, hid the second jar of coffee when we ran out on the day that we really needed it and I uh, waited a whole day before revealing it and he knew that I was craving it and I had a headache. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? For one point I nominate Kim. Um, we've had a lean week and we have to share things so when she had glass after glass after glass after glass over a couple of days of wine I kind of missed out so I thought it was a little unfair. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Regina to the diary room. <laughs> Regina. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, I nominate Saxon for two points because um, when I'm talking to people, he. Um, talk butts in and talks over the top and I think it's rude and if I'm going to stay in this house I don't want to um, it makes me feel angry and I don't want to feel angry. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, one point to Chrissy because um, oh bugger um, because um, oh god Chrissy because um she, um, oh, when I was um, feeling down, um, down oh, because I've lost a bit of faith in Chrissy um, um, when I was feeling down last week and I need to have trust if I'm to keep living in the house, to live in a trusting environment. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> So, trust is the issue du jour, isn't it? I should point out that Big Brother is being incredibly lenient with nominations tonight because he has an ulterior motive, and as we know, the ulterior motive is in that box on the table. Because, Joe, he is being more lenient than usual, isn't he? Yeah, he's not striking anyone. Are you, have you been surprised by any of those nominations? Um, a little bit Chrissy. surprised that Chrissy got nominated by Reg. I well, thought you know, they were all quite close. Well, I should point out Chrissy nominated Reg last week. Did she? Yes. Would, I don't know, I haven't said anything. I know, well, lucky you're here, I can mm. tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, coming up after the break, the boy who wears his heart on his sleeve, his friendship band on his wrist and his kilt on his head, and the man who's turned 30 and is perhaps a bit quirky. <laughs> Unlocks, get set, go. Oh my god, are you serious? Is this a week? Welcome back. This is Big Brother Live nomination show where we have a stupendous surprise hovering over the housemates, ready to drop. But first, let's have a look at how the votes are going as five of the housemates have now swatted the nomination fly. <laughs> Benson is still in the lead with four, with Saxon and Patrick close behind on three each. But remember, there are three housemates still to go. You know, it's quite surprising, Jo, isn't it? Yes. Because I would have thought the new housemates would be nominated. So would have I, yes. Would you have nominated the new housemates? Um, I probably would have nominated Kim because... <laughs> <laughs> she, just, uh, she just says... I mean, she says how it is, but sometimes it's a little bit offensive. So I was offended by a few things that she said. Um, I don't know who else I would have had to, but I don't have to nominate tonight. So well, I don't think I'm you would have it. nominated Saxon, Vincent or Patrick. That no, mate no. whittles it down. I think you would have gone done Dan, because you did him every I week. Did, uh, yeah, yeah. Kim and Dan, there we are. We've sorted it out. Done. All right. It is now time for our final two male housemates to nominate. Can I just bear with Big Brother? Can you hear me properly? OK. It is the two are uh, Jamie and Patrick. Now, you would never know what Patrick thinks of Jamie, but Jamie has certainly been willing to share his thoughts on Patrick. 
And your older brother? They don't talk about him much. He's just so, he's like Patrick. He's very, very laid back, very observant. And just sort of, you're on the phone. Are you still there? Really? He's one of those people that kind of... My mum's a bit like mm, that. Mm. Just smiles his way. He reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. He's just gorgeous. Smiles, he's a smiling assassin. Do you think Patrick's the smiling assassin? No, I think Patrick's really easygoing and just... No, I think... Do you think... I don't think he's got any tactical plan in place. Do you think Jamie does? Yes, I do. He's very pensive. He just sits there and thinks, and I catch him staring at me sometimes, and I go, oh, what is he thinking? <laughs> Maybe he's going to jump the fence. <laughs> so, do you think he's got a bit of a plan? But he does that with everyone, though. I've he noticed that. Like, other, I've, said, I've had a discussion with Reg about it as well, and she said that she's caught him staring at her a few times. And... But that doesn't mean you've got a plan. It might mean you have an eye problem. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, you feel instinctively that he mm, has a plan. Yeah. Oh. It's hard coming in as, um, at the week that the both of them came in. So. Yes, because they also know a lot about you mm, guys. They and they've got to hold it back. Mm. I feel he's on his best behaviour. Mm. I'm waiting to see him crack. All right, let's cross now to the diary room to see Jamie's first trip to the nomination hot seat. And we'll see whether he's warm to Patrick and fired up about somebody else. Excuse me, Pandora. Pandora. Box. Haven't you seen it? Pandora's box. Big brother, Jamie to the diary. Oh God. I told you I love to see the B boys. Patrice. I'm after him. He's sexy. He's after Patrice. Um, no, he's telling he's after. I thought Jamie. it was Patrice, Jamie, and then me. I thought Jamie and I were. Good luck. Good luck. so excited. Jamie. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, for two points I nominate Kath, I mean Kim, um, because on a couple of occasions she's actually spoken to me about the other housemates saying that they're fake and um, that she doesn't like any of them and it makes me suspicious because I'm not sure what her intentions are towards me, whether to get me on side or, or what she could be saying about me so I don't know if I can trust her. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, for one point, I nominate Vincent. Um, he's very selfless, which is a great quality to have, but it's almost the, the point. He's almost excessive, and it makes me feel selfish and greedy by having another share because he's always... He's almost taking more than his fair share himself and then handing it out, you know, and I don't know whether that's because he truly is a great guy and selfless or whether he's trying to score brown, um, brownie points. Thank you. OK. Patrick to the diary room. <laughs> Thank you. I thought there was something in there. You've got no idea there. Hi, big brother. Patrick, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I nominate Saxon for two points because we have not formed a very strong friendship and that means it's likely that he will vote against me in the later stages, which means um, my time in the House will be shorter. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? I nominate Chrissy for one point because um, I don't believe she's being honest uh, towards everyone in the House, which makes me not trust her and you need trustworthy people around um, as you get later on in the show. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, that was a surprise, wasn't it? I thought Patrick and Chrissy were very close. So did I. Well, it shows how much you know. I don't know anything. And you were I'm living oblivious. with them. Oh, they were my neighbours. They were my sorority sisters. I know. Yeah. And look what happened. No. When you were in the house, did it feel like a holiday or hard work? Holiday, definitely, because I do hard work on the, in the real world, so. Now, you're normally a solicitor. Yes, I am. Did you leave your job? Um, no, I've got a leave of absence. So you're allowed to go back? Yes, I am. Like maternity leave? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> how long have you got? Um, indefinite. Indefinite? Yeah, I didn't know how long you I'd see? be. You see? 
This is the J spot I was talking about. Who gets indefinite leave from their job? I'm reluctant now to hold up the legacy item, which, may I point out, can be worn as a shawl. Uh, it's currently on the website at $3,500. Joe is the only person in the nation who can actually fit into it, <laughs> but I guess you could use it as curtains. The money goes to the Royal Adelaide Hospital, and it's particularly the burn section, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Have you got a, any association with them, or um, just like the cause? It's just um, people. Um, I had a friend that was um, in the Surrey Club when the Bali bombings happened, and um, um, the people that suffered those burns still have ongoing condition that need treatment, and I don't want to forget about people like that that suffered them. And I just wanted to help the Burns victims. Great. Well, not only have we got $3,500 so far for this, but the famous Pink Berets t-shirt, which is also up for bidding, but you of course forgot to bring it, I can't imagine what you were thinking of, has already got $1,000. So, fantastic. You can bid on our website, bigbrother.optus.com.au. Incredible. Now, on with nominations. A magnificent seven housemates have already voted. Big Brother's beautiful big box is still unopened and the excitement is rising. How are you going? This is for Welcome back. You are watching live nominations. Let's get an update on where we are with the nomination voting. OK, it is neck and neck between Saxon and Vincent, but Kim and Patrick are close at their heels. New girl Kim will be the last to go into the diary room. Who do you think Kim will nominate? Jo, hello. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hello, welcome, I'm Gretel. Hi. Who do you think um, she will nominate? Mm. Kim. <laughs> Otherwise um, known Sat as Kim. Saxon. I'd just like to remind the audience that we are on television. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> All right. You think Saxon and Saxon who else? And um, probably Vincent, yes. All right. Is mm. she getting on well with Jamie? Yeah, I think they are. Well, yeah. one of the things that we've seen with all the packages with you in the house. You got on well with the boys, but you got on really well with the girls as well. Yeah. And you've been very popular with our audience. And we have a Prezi for you. Who's got the Prezi? These very stylish black Ugg boots. So you can wear one pink one and one black one. And won't that look nice? <laughs> and uh, these are from eBay. And all of the people oh. can vote mm -hmm. for what Prezi you should get. Yep. So there you are. Oh, I don't know lovely. what you're going to do with them right now. But hold them, I guess. <laughs> <For later. laughs> Do you love them? Love them. Do you want to love say... Ugg boots, they're so comfy. Well, that's clear, although if you leave them out in the hallway, they can be a very dangerous hazard. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are going online, let me just check, 9.30 on the website yes. for a chat, so you can have a chat with Joe. And also, for the first time ever, ever randomly, we decided week seven, whoever was evicted, we would follow them behind the scenes, and you've had a camera following you for the last 24 hours, yep. or not? at night when she was in bed, but at other times. So that'll be on, is it on the website? Is that right? Yes, yes everybody's nodding. Yeah. Great, so there we are. You can get more and more of Joe if you would like to, and you will be with us on Uncut this week. Yes, I will. So that'll be hilarious, and I'll have to think of some questions to ask. All right, thank you so much for joining us. A big thank you to Joe. <laughs> could be the Terminator, Kim, new housemate, virgin nominator. She's always one to call it like it is. And we already know she's got the beeps with Saxon and Vincent. He doesn't listen to anything I say. He's snappy at me. We had a bit of a snap in the shower this morning, didn't we? Maybe you should go and have an extra hour of sleep. I'm snappy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like the way Vincent doesn't answer me. Tomorrow, if I ask I him just, a question you know what I and he doesn't answer me, I'm going to say to him, are you He's creepy. Takes it, yeah. Look at us. I don't want to know him any more than I have because he makes me sick. He's gross. Back so far, let's watch her aim and fire right now. Yeah, this is where 
What's in the box with the dots? This is Big Brother. Came to the diary. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good Big brother. Kim, who do you nominate? Kim, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, I nominate Jamie for two points because he always um, thinks that I'm trying to argue with him and it's me just putting my opinion across um, and that I just don't like arguing and that it affects my time in the house because um, I like to just enjoy myself. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, I nominate Vincent for one point um, because <clears throat> he answers me with just yes and no answers. He doesn't, um, I'm, if I try and make conversation, he doesn't, he's not interested in making conversation with me and it makes me feel um, that he's putting me on a lower level um, and that affects my time in the house because um, I, yeah, just like to feel... Um, the same as everybody else, I guess, not put down. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. On the table beside you, you'll find an envelope. I'd like you to take that out, hand it to Chrissy. Ask her not to open it, not to do anything until she gets further instructions from me. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. No. A letter. Oh, no, it's, there's the keys probably in it. <gasps> She's no. acting. Don't worry. No, there's no dramas. There's. Okay. Well, we probably have to do this really. You are not so. to open it under any circumstances until further instructions. All right. Chrissy. Not, yes. To you. The bearer. Not to touch it or open it until further put instructions. Put it on the box. Just put it on the box. Good heavens. <laughs> Very dramatic, Kim, wasn't it? <laughs> Do not open it. Well done, Kim. Well done, everybody. So we will have a score update after the break. And now the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar question is: What's in the chest and what is in that envelope? Join us after the break when all will be revealed. Stop it! Just yeah. hold it. Just key. Just key. Well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> What do we do? <laughs> it's a bit of paper. Yeah, okay. There's nothing in the box, you idiots. <laughs> you get down those letters. Okay, let's go in. It's one of those letters from Reader's Digest. Maybe it's still <laughs> it's the first one. Quickly, quickly, look at the pool. We've got some friends. What are we going to call them? Bert and Patty. Bert and Patty. She's going. <laughs> Yep, he's got yes. it. Yeah. We've got oranges. We could do something fabulous. Duck or orange? Duck or orange. Goodbye. Oh, no. Come again. Come again. Yeah. Welcome back. You're watching live nominations. We've got two intergalactic surprises coming up. But first, let's check the tally. We have Vincent on six, Saxon on five, and Kim and Jamie both on four. Well, on this basis, Vincent, Saxon, Kim and Jamie would be nominated. But Big Brother has other ideas. It is time to cross again to the house for the first instalment of Big Brother's Big Secret Strategy. This place for doing that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is Big Brother. Oh. Chrissy, in the envelope you'll find a key. Oh. Take it and open the chest. In the chest you'll find an envelope. Open the envelope and read out the enclosed letter to all your housemates. Oh. Ten. <laughs> Good, Chrissy. Hurry! No swearing. <gasps> Sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back. Read it, read it, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Dear housemates, thank you for your nominations and for the thought and effort you put into them this week. They've been very interesting. However, Big Brother has decided that this week you are all oh, yeah. nominated. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh
my god. That's good. Yeah. 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 Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Oh, I was about to, I should also tell you, two of you will be evicted this week. Oh, Double eviction! Oh, God. Yay! Oh, it's it's a good guys, you got someone to party with on Sunday night! Nice. It's a double. You got someone to party with. That's full of... Oh, <laughs> far out! It's a double. <laughs> OK, they didn't expect that, and a double eviction. Better get a wriggle on. There are plenty of numbers to get through. So, to evict Regina, I know this could take half an hour, call 1902 55 55 61 or SMS Regina to 188 10 10. To evict Daniel, call 1902 55 55 62 or SMS Daniel to 188 10 10. To evict Patrick, call 1902-55563 or SMS Patrick to 188-1010. To evict Vincent, call 1902-55566 or SMS Vincent to 188-1010. To evict Jamie, call 1902-55567 or SMS Jamie to 188-1010. To evict Kim, call 1902-55568 or SMS Kim to 188-1010. To evict Saxon, call 1902-55570 or SMS Saxon to 188-1010. To evict Chrissy, call 1902-55574 or SMS Chrissy to 188-1010. I hope you memorised all of those. OK. Phone lines close at 8pm Sunday night during the eviction show. Thanks for the applause for reading the numbers. I appreciate it. And SMS lines close at 7.15 on Sunday night, 22nd of June. This is exciting. So everyone is up. Will it bring everyone down or will they fly high? Saxon's excited already. Who knows? Watch The Daily Show at 7 every night to find out. And I will see you again on Thursday night at 9.30 for Big Brother Uncut and Sunday night at 7.30 for a huge double eviction special. I'm Gretel Colleen and this is Big Brother where nothing stays the same. <laughs> We take it. We take it. We 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 This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.